uh, I think physicians need to be more aware that this disease exists because the I think awareness in general about TGCT is, is not very high. And that is really uh, illustrated very clearly in the uh, manuscript part that was presented, published earlier in the year. Uh, there are certain numbers that I would like to uh, bring up or quote that really illustrate the time that it takes from diagnosis or from the onset of symptoms to the proper diagnosis. In these patients who were enrolled in the registry, it took approximately 17 months uh, that took from the uh, beginning of the symptoms until the proper diagnosis. A, a quarter of all patients required at least five visits to different specialists before the, the final diagnosis was made. A, a similar proportion, about a quarter of all patients, required more than 10 physical therapy sessions in the last 24 months. Uh, almost all patients, like nine out of 10 patients required hospitalization because of the disease. And 10% of patients required more than five hospitalizations. Uh, and I think that the, the, some of the most uh, probably telling uh, the numbers that illustrate the impact of the disease on actual patients' lives uh, is when you look at the data about the, uh, the missed days of work. More than half of the patients missed work because of uh, the disease, because of TGCT in the two years prior to the baseline, with the median of 25 days. Uh, 12% of patients uh, had to either retire early or change the type of their employment because of the, uh, the disease. And in about 16% of patients, the domestic help was necessary. And if you think about all these numbers that I just mentioned in the context of the fact that if, uh, the median age uh, in these patients was 43 years old, meaning that half of these patients are above 43 years old, but half of these patients are younger than 40, it really emphasizes how uh, the impact of the disease and how devastated it can be uh, on patients who are relatively young and in a productive age.